showed you how to make kinetic sand like um it's kind of like it's kind of like kinetic sand but the main point is sun because i was trying to make slime one day and i was watching the video it didn't work it was like kinetic sand and i was like hmm this should be this is a good video that i should do and as you see in my last if you saw my last video i was unpackaging my Crazy and Sticky Putty Paper Color. Yeah. Paper Color Twilight. And this is a spot there earlier. And um, it's really cool. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And you can probably hear my mom and my aunt talking in the back because my aunt came over to visit. And so yeah, let's just get to it. So the ingredients you'll need is baking soda. I'm pretty sure you can use any kind. You'll need Elmer's school glue, a tool to mix with, um, something to mix in, and a top. <coughs> and then this is optional, but you can use food coloring if you would like. And I'm using neon. It has purple, green, pink, and blue, and I think I'm going to use purple. So, I'm going to get my purple out. It's big and stubborn. Okay, let's hope for, hopefully this won't splatter all over the place. So, first you're going to take your glue, and however much you want, that's how much glue you're going to put in. So I'm not going to use my whole bottle, even though I have like 20 of them, still not going to use the whole bottle, and plus the whole bottle might not fit here. Just keep in mind, the more glue, the, the more glue you use, the more baking soda you'll need. It's really thick. Okay. So after you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to take your food coloring and you're going to put like one or two drops depending on how pigmented you want it to be. If you're going to use food coloring, you don't have to unless you want to like play with it. Okay, so I dropped my thing in the um, glue. So, and my battery is really low on my camera. My camera is about to die. So, I put I put a drop. And so, I'm not going to be mixing it. Yeah, I had to bring the guys up closer because my camera is on the hood right now. It kind of looks like my hood. It's cool. Okay. So, you can do that. You're going to grab your baking soda. And you're going to start off with a little bit. You're going to add more as you go. Adding. Okay, so I learned how that you can only add a little bit at a time because when I did it, um, I added too much and it was like, ugh. it was just like really chunky. And when it starts like coming together like this, then that's good. Like, let me add a little bit more. I think you added too much, but that's right. Almost not right, but. Okay, so there's this big chunk of baking soda in it. And so I'm gonna take that out. Oh. Okay, that was really weird. So, I'm gonna like. Once it starts looking, like, you know how, like, you put cookie dough in the flour? Once it starts looking like that. You are good to go. It starts coming together. And with like slime, it's pretty good. It's like pretty sticky, but once you start playing with it, it won't be as sticky. And so, I recommend putting food coloring in it because then that makes it a little less sticky. And so, like, when you start mixing it and you let it sit for days, like you don't play with it or anything, you're gonna have to add more baking soda. 
in like a little bit because a little bit more. Because if you don't, then it'll just like it'll turn. It'll like how do I explain this? It'll turn into glue, like watery glue. And it's pretty gross. And I have like. Maybe four, I should say. Four slime, like, no, three. So this one, I tried to make nail polish slime. And it's like... Kind of like the kinetic sand, but it's harder. It's a harder material. And I tried to make it with salt. Glue, salt, food coloring. And it's like this egg. It's like eggs. It's kind of weird. And you should go see my videos that I've made of those. They're pretty cool. And so, yeah. That's it for today, and bye.